Yo, what's up, guys? It's Wavis, and uh, welcome back to another... <laughs> that was a weird intro. Um, I feel like I should redo the intro. Should I redo the intro? Um, I feel like that was a bad intro. No, I think it was fine. I think I'm just going to keep it. What is up, guys? No, I'm redoing the intro. Why am I redoing the intro? Anyway, uh, back back to the video. Uh, welcome back to another Clash of Clans Let's Play. Uh, right now. Okay, I'm, that was really weird. I feel like I'm going to have to cut that whole thing out. So I think I'm cutting that whole thing out. Okay, let's restart. What is up, guys? It is Wavis, and welcome back to another video. Right now, you can see that my town all three is completely maxed out now, except for like, no, I think it's actually 100% maxed out. So we're going to be upgrading to a new town hall here at town hall level four. We're absolutely flying through this series. And I know there's a lot of you who are like, whoa, you're going way too fast. Last time you were at town hall two, all of a sudden you just show us like a maxed out town hall three. What are you, what are you doing right now? And I know it, I know, I know it's crazy, but guys, the thing is, this only took like two days to max out and like all of them only take like two days to max out it's insanely easy so i don't know what else to really do about that but as you can see we upgrade our town hall and then we just collected our resources that were in our clan castle and now we're completely maxed out on golden elixir i'm still having the problem where i'm always maxed out on golden elixir no matter what i do I always end up being maxed on golden elixir so I don't even have to play the game because my mines are absolutely just destroying it for me I can just collect from my mines and then I have full golden elixir so it's really is a problem but right now as you could see my base is not very well set up so I just decided to go in here and show you my nice little speed build of my base now I didn't get this from anyone it's more of just like me using my knowledge of the game and like okay the most powerful defense goes in the middle right and you build a wall around that crap so it's basically just me like i didn't plan this or anything this is exactly me just saying like okay what do i want to be protected and what do i want to be where and i'm just doing this off the fly right here so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you right after the speed build So that's my speed build of the Town Hall 3. I don't know what the best one is out there for Town Hall 3 or anything like that. This is just basically me being like, okay, protect the mortar. That was basically what was in my mind while I was building this base was protect that mortar. And this will definitely defend against someone my level. I can't see anyone being able to get to that mortar. So challenge accepted. And now we can move on to the next one. This is the best that I think you can do. I mean, what else are you gonna do with Town Hall 3? I mean, no one really, I don't really care about my Town Hall. As you can see, it's almost done building anyways. But anyway, you can see that I have 500 gems right here and only two builders. I got the gems legit by collecting achievements and stuff and I got exactly 500. I know it looks fake. Haters will say it's fake, but no, I got this. I got this builder legit, okay? So I'm gonna put it in the corner. I'm gonna be one of those people. But now if any one of you like sees my base, you guys know where the builder hut is at. But anyway, that doesn't even matter. I just put it there because I mean, why not? Just a little safety measure there. Just going forward here, we are now at Town Hall 4. You guys must be like, whoa, what happened? You were just upgrading to Town Hall 4. Now you're like, everything is maxed out. Now, first off, let me just tell you, everything is not maxed out right here. I waited a few days. Yes, I'm sorry. I did upgrade stuff over that few days, mostly the defenses and things like that. But it still has quite a bit to go with maxing out mostly the collectors and you know the gold mines because those take like freaking what 18,000 days to upgrade one of them so yeah those definitely are not ready yet but and as you can see there are a few more things that need to be upgraded in the base but it is close to being maxed out and the walls again are completely maxed out and everything like that and even at this level, I upgraded the gold mines, I upgraded the collectors, I upgraded, you know, the storages and everything like that. I still 
have a problem with maxing out on gold and elixir and i know you guys don't know where i'm at today while i'm filming this but guys i still have a problem of maxing out on gold and elixir i don't even have to play the game i still just max out every single time i don't know what town hall gets it to the point where like you don't max out on gold and elixir that much but can't wait to get to that town hall because right now i would like get on i'll play once and then i'm off because i don't need to play anymore because i'm completely maxed out not trying to sound like i'm brag or i'm the best player in the world or anything no i just go for a simple raid just like balloon spam them and then just like destroy them i mean it's like what any other person would do am i just getting lucky or is it normal to like all throughout like town hall one through like town hall seven to get like maxed out on gold all the time because even when i spend money on the walls i'm always maxed out on gold but right here you can see my new army composition which now includes balloons because i upgraded to balloons that was one of my first priorities because i'm like fam if i'm gonna fight i need me some balloons because those balloons are og except that they're only level one and they suck i think <laughs> i don't know if i had them upgraded to level two or not yet i wasn't paying attention dang it but anyways you guys can also see that i joined a clan it's called shield the reason why i joined this clan is because fish t is in it if those of you who don't know fish t fish t is a youtuber and he was in this clan and he invited me to join it plus there was a uh, clivio in there too so i was like sure i'll join the clan and plus there was some other cool people they're really awesome they donate max troops and stuff like that but they're full and closed right now so i don't think you guys can join it which really sucks but hey, i mean if you guys are like a maxed out like legends league player i mean feel free to request you know I'm, I'm sure they'll let you in if you know what i mean but anyways right now i'm showing a war attack and you already know i know you guys want to see my attacks but you already know your boy three star in the town all tens and elevens like it's nothing at town all four but anyways right here this is all dragons and yeah this this is going absolutely no this this base is getting demolished. There's no hope for it anymore. Just look at that. There's like, yeah, there's no way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away from that. Back to our base right here. We have the full army camps and a full clan castle. We have a full clan castle. And we're gonna go out and find another raid, even though we really don't need it. <laughs> but we could use a little bit more elixir. And who says no to more elixir? And plus I can show you guys my attack strategy and how I attack at this level and everything like that. Now there might be some of you who think that, man, you're going way too fast with this series. It's it's only been like what five videos four videos and you're already at town hall four almost fully maxed out now the problem with that is is that guys like i said crap only takes like two days to max out the whole town hall if you know what i mean it only takes like two days and plus on top of that this isn't the type of let's play where i'm trying to go like step through step showing you guys all that stuff i might do that later down the road this is more me actually trying to build my base because i don't have another base my other maxed out town hall seven i don't know where it went it's somewhere off in cyberspace i don't know where it is i forgot what even phone i had it on so this is me basically trying to build up like my priority base right here and you guys are just kind of seeing the early stages so i think this is more of an early stage preview but it's also a let's play because i'm taking you through each of the levels no matter what and plus eventually it will slow down so don't even worry about that once we get to town hall seven or town hall eight or something like that the i will not be flying through town hall trust me about that it will probably you probably want it to go even faster if you know what i mean right here for this base it didn't have that much loot i mean it had a very good amount but my thing was is that there was like nothing to defend against my balloons i have like a few maxed out balloons in my clan castle i don't even really need to use them all i need to do is have my balloons like i think like level two balloons just go around and then just wreck all the defenses and then i'll send in my barbarians to clean up later so nothing really interesting about this raid and let's get on to the next one all the troops are going and swarming that last elixir collector dude if that last elixir collector was a person they'd be like oh crap about to get jumped real hard but anyway about that being in the hood you know how it is I'm, i don't even live in the hood what am i talking about i'm trying to be cool please let me be cool we got our star bonus anyway i'm gonna stop talking about stuff i don't know what i'm even talking about i have this weird okay i'm not oh i forgot to make troops in advance so i'm gonna go ahead and do that here but our clan castle is still full so now we have full troops again cut forward to our next attack right here where we have full troops and a full clan castle and in the clan castle i think we have like level five balloons or something like that but we're gonna go ahead and nonetheless try to find us a match and hope that we could get something in the hundred thousands because as you can see i spent some money for another upgrade and it looks like i need a few hundred thousand more in order to get it maxed out again so let's go ahead and try to find that raid right now 
Now this is a great raid and this base looks really intimidating and it would be kind of intimidating but with my army setup it really isn't that bad and the thing is I would be able to take over this base without the air sweeper being in repair but right now it is being repaired or upgraded right now so he doesn't even have his air sweeper right now am I saying it's an air sweeper it's an air defense what am I talking about his air defense is down right now and now all he has is three archer towers and a wizard tower to defend which really isn't gonna do anything so what I do here is I drop down my balloons one balloon right there to distract that archer tower for a second and I send in the higher balloons right there the higher level five balloons right there so that they can actually go ahead and tank for the rest of the thing because I don't want them to get as damaged because they do more damage and they also can stay alive longer so right here they're just gonna go ahead and try to clean up the base right here there is one more archer tower right there but the way I set it up it should go for the archer tower first and we should have no problem with the other defenses but right there I didn't want the archer tower messing with my balloons because I it's not nice for them to shoot pointy stuff at my balloons and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a few barbarians down there to distract. These are tactics that you really need to use at this level. Just drop a few barbarians and then the archer tower will stay focused on them until they go away. And then after that, you just wreak havoc on the whole base. There goes down the last defense with the last of the balloons right there. And I just, just lay all my barbarians down for the cleanup right there. And this is gonna be no problem. An instant three star and an instant couple hundred thousand gold. There's nothing really special about this raid maybe some of you learned something new but again a lot of you are higher level players who just like to watch me being noob and you can actually teach me some stuff so yeah of course that's a thing but we're gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of the raid right here and of course we get a 100% perfect and not a 99% two star something like that that would absolutely suck so we got 148,000 gold and 50,000 elixir don't really care too much about the elixir but the gold was what I was looking for and we absolutely you see what I mean guys I max out my gold so quick just simple raids like that and now i have a full army composition and i can go ahead and attack again all i need is a few more balloons and stuff like that but i have a full army composition but i'm maxed out on everything right now so you guys see exactly what i mean right what the oh my gosh i'm the best i'm the, yeah my clan mates love me trust me but anyways guys that is going to be it for this video i do have one more attack to show you but that's just going to be like you know a music time lapse thing just one more quick attack but other than that that's going to be it for today's video guys right now i'm just going to upgrade a few more things of course i have the elixir collector and stuff that aren't maxed out yet but those take a long time so i'm probably going to do those last but right now i'm just going to max out my gold storage and my elixir storage just because i need more elixir storage and things like that and i'm also going to get my first ever barracks to hold wizards which is going to be a huge leap for us even though level one wizards aren't that good but it's still a huge leap because it is actually a milestone for us at least might not be an achievement but it is a milestone for us because wizards are awesome so there goes the last wizard right there and I'm gonna show you guys the last video I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like on the video and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to leave your suggestions for what I should do or what I'm doing wrong scream at me in the comments or something like that but I'll see you guys later probably tomorrow Bye.